What is up everybody? It is me, Abby, and welcome to another exciting video. What is up everybody? It is Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video will not feature me climbing. It will feature what I take with me to the gym when I climb. That's right, we're doing a what's in my climbing bag video. Woo! Amazing! I don't know if you can see her. You might be able to hear her. My co-host Abby is eating uh, Kirkland brand milk bones out of a Kong because every time I try to hold an item up for the camera, she tries to eat it. She's also very needy today because she has a little bit of tummy trouble. But we're going to the vet later today, so don't be hungry. So the first thing in my climbing bag is actually on my climbing bag. When I first started climbing, like literally before I even went to the gym for the first time, I watched Jen Sen's video on how to keep your climbing shoes clean. And if you haven't figured out already, Jen Sen's is my favorite climbing YouTuber. Um, she's literally amazing and I love her. So I'll link the cleaning video down below, but you should check out all of her videos because they're amazing and way better than mine, so go check those out. And also, another amazing climbing YouTuber, his name's Magnus, I don't know how to say his last name, I should, but I don't. Uh, but I'll link his video down below as well. He has a whole video that he like just put out on how to pick climbing shoes, what you should know when you pick climbing shoes. It's like so thorough and mind-blowingly amazing, and you should watch that. And his videos are super cool too. He's a retired professional climber, so like, just whoa. So my climbing shoes are just the La Sportiva Tarantula Lace. They are a pretty, and by pretty I mean very, neutral profile, like neutral shoe, beginner friendly, um, nothing too crazy. I have these in a 40 euro, which is a seven and a half US. Climbing shoes are going to be smaller than your traditional shoe. In normal shoes I wear about an eight, uh, eight and a half, sometimes a nine depending on the shoe, but I tried these on at the REI and walked around them a little bit. Obviously it would be better to have climbed them in first, but I got lucky and these worked out great for me. I like these because they have laces and I have really narrow feet. And for me, having uh, Velcro, I cannot tighten the shoe enough around my super narrow feet. So having laces just gives me more customizable tightening abilities. So that is my climbing shoe and they live on the outside of my bag so they don't get musty and gross and grow disgustingness. So that is the first item. Oh, and my backpack is my mom's old Relay for Life bag that I stole when I was there over the summer. That was in their attic. In the front pocket of my bag, I keep a pair of sunglasses because my future is so bright that it's blinding. Real talk, I got these when I ran a Rugged Maniac back in South Carolina and I just like to have sunglasses on with me because you never know when you're gonna need them. And I got LASIK like two years ago, so I like to have sunglasses. So that is pocket number one. Pocket number two is this tiny pocket right here. This is the clasp that I keep my shoes on. And here I have a Trader Joe's This Strawberry Walks Into a Bar cereal bar. It is super good. I buy these in the blueberry and the strawberry. So if you have a Trader Joe's, I recommend them. If you don't have a Trader Joe's, I also really love this is like crumbly. <laughs> the Nature's Bakery, um, they're like Fig Newtons, but I get them in the raspberry, blueberry, and fig flavor. So good. Um, but I like to keep snacks with me when I go to the gym because I get hangry, and more often than not, I am going straight to work after the gym. So that is pocket number a dis. Pocket number trace is where I keep my chalk bag. And today my chalk bag features two scrunchies because I had scrunchies on my wrist. I didn't want them on my wrist while I was climbing. So this is a chalk bag I just bought on Amazon. I don't remember how much it cost, but I'll link it down below. And it is from the brand Sokoa. And it's pretty basic. It does the job. It has two pockets. Um, there's a front one that I like to keep my like rings in um, because I don't want to be degloved at the gym. So I put my rings in here or sometimes if I wear my watch, I'll put that in there if I think I'm gonna scrape it. And then there's a big pocket that I think is meant for your phone, but my phone's too big. But it's a pretty nice size pocket. It has two loops and it came with a strap, like a waist belt, but I didn't like the waist belt um, because I'm not, I don't wear mine when I climb. I just kind of throw it on the ground. And then when I top rope, I just clip it to my harness 
from there and we'll get into my harness in a little bit. It also has a loop for your brush, but the gyms that I climb at are obviously, I, um, I exclusively climb indoor, so they uh, have brushes at the gym, but this spring, summer, I am gonna try to get outside at least once or twice and just kind of experience that. So I will probably pick up a brush from REI or something when I go, because obviously mother nature doesn't have a brush for me. So this is a great chalk bag. I really like it. Super easy, easy. I do wish I had a cuter one. Like there are some that like are super adorable, but this did the job in a pinch. That is that pocket. In the main backpack pocket, I have my, I have like extra chalk. Um, I just bought like a pack of, I think it's called Monster Chalk um, from Amazon. And I have a whole box of it where I keep my gym equipment and then I just keep a baggie of it just in case uh, I get low or somebody needs something like chalk for their bag or something. You know, you always bring extra stuff for your friends. So I keep chalk there. I also have, my Mobot water bottle. My brother got me this for Christmas. This is 18 ounces and I'm guessing it's called the firecracker because it says firecracker underneath it. And it's super cool. It is just a little straw, like nothing crazy. It also doubles as a foam roller, which is super rad because I don't like to carry a whole foam roller around with me and I have a knock off, um, like Theragun, but I don't want to take that with me either. So this is nice to just kind of roll out if I'm feeling particularly stiff or sore or anything like that. And it never has water in it because I take it to the gym, A, as a foam roller and B, as a backup water bottle if I forget my regular water bottle, which is this guy. This is my 32 ounce Hydro Flask. It is red. Um, uh, this guy has been through a lot <laughs> with me. He has been painted a variety of colors, many stickers taken off uh, and put on, and I have replaced the lid because it came with like a normal wide mouth lid and I didn't want that. It is currently covered in stickers from Mono Pocket and our uh, Red Bubble. My favorite sticker is this one, however, called Will Funnel 2020. I just think that's so funny. How many times have you seen Free Solo? Well, did you watch Free Solo? Every time I tell somebody that I climb or that I'm into climbing, they ask me if I've seen Free Solo, and I always go, well, yeah, but have you seen the Don Wall? Because I love Alex Honnold, and I love Free Solo, but the Don Wall is amazing. So this is great because it brings together my two favorites and gives credit where I believe credit is due. Mm, refreshing. So next in my bag, I have my climbing harness. I bought this even though I don't top rope all that much because I'm top roping enough that it didn't make sense to rent a harness every week. And this is, um, was like 50 bucks on Amazon. It's a Black Diamond harness and it was sold by Black Diamond through Amazon. It is really cool. It's called the Momentum Harness and this is a woman's size small. And I like it a lot. It has, you know, the hooks for if you're gonna go like, lead climbing or like multi pitch or something like that and I don't do any of that and then a little loop in the back for your chalk bag sometimes I will just put my chalk bag on the side but more often than not I use the actual chalk bag hold and it's really good it also has like another strap for things that you want to carry and yeah and finally my final item because otherwise I think this pocket's yep empty this is my Burt's Bees pomegranate lip balm. I do not leave my house without lip balm. I have lip balm in my bag. I have lip balm in my other bag. I have lip balm in my car. I got it by my uh, stove. I love lip balm. Mm -mm -mm. But I am trying to be a little bit better about single use plastic or um, buying products that are packaged in plastic. I'm not doing a great job at it, but I'm doing my best. And so I do have a Burt's Bees lip balm. This is in the pomegranate. Flavor. This is in a plastic roll-up tube, but I did recently buy the one in the aluminum tin, and when this one dies, either by usage or washing machine, I will uh, change that out for a tin one and try to move on to that. But this is really nice. I love Burt's Bees, and it's kind of the only lip balm I use other than like Carmex. So 
there you go. Hands up. That is everything that's in my climbing bag and that is all I have for you guys today. So thanks for spending just a couple minutes of your day with me and kind of with Abby who has been enjoying uh, an off brand milk bone this whole time. So whether you are into rock climbing, bouldering, or you are my friend and you're trying to support my dreams of making YouTube content, I thank you. I thank you for being here. I will see you guys in the next video, whenever that may be. So until then, bye.